Sizzle season trailer has introduced and teased a new paintbrush main weapon coming to Splatoon 3, and like all new main weapons, it is also expected to transfer over to Salmon Run just like the Big Svig and the Snipe Rider did back in a previous season. The question is, is it going to be a good weapon? That's what we'll talk about in this video. For more Salmon Run and Splatoon 3 content, subscribe to the channel if you'll enjoy this video. First of all, it needs to be said that even if the paintbrush is going to be good or bad in PvP, Weapons are balanced separately in Salmon Run, which means it will have different damage numbers altogether, and because of that, some weapons that are good in one mode could be bad in the other or vice versa. In the past, Nintendo has given relatively lower damage to the new weapons, so it is a little bit worrying whether Paintbrush is going to get good damage numbers, and ultimately, despite all the positives I'm about to showcase and talk about in this video, whether the Paintbrush is going to pass the damage threshold needed for Salmon Run is going to make or break the weapon. With that said, I'm expecting the Paintbrush to be an incredibly good weapon, actually, that is going to combine all the positives of the already existing brushes we have, while also adding in the much-needed aspects of certain longer-range weapons, such as shooters or blasters, so I'm quite excited to try it out as soon as possible. Brushes are the absolute lowest range weapon type in the game, and even though the Octo Brush has a little bit of advantage compared to the Ink Brush, the range is simply not good enough to meet some crucial requirements in Salmon Run, especially in Next Wave with the introduction of bosses like Fish Sticks that do require range, otherwise you lose a lot of turf. The first advantage of the Paintbrush is that it is very likely to fix this problem, as from the trailer footage it actually seems to have an above average range that keeps increasing as you keep swinging your brush. This simple factor will allow the Paintbrush to easily handle steelheads more afar, or split fish sticks from the ground hopefully, which would be a massive help for the weapon, especially with its ink efficiency. This increase of range is also useful for many other situations such as shooting down drizzler torpedoes from the air or reaching stingers from further away on shores, but the point is that one of the weaknesses of brushes in Salmon Run is straight up fixed with this increased range. The only question is how much is the base range and by how much does it increase as you keep swinging for this unique range increasing mechanic. Next, we have to talk about area attacks. Brushes are already one of the better weapons for having AoE and dealing with less assassinates and large hordes easier, thanks to their attacks affecting multiple enemies at the same time. Even the current Octo Brush and Ink Brush is well capable of getting rid of chums and small fry, and judging from the trailer footage, the Pain Brush splats a player with four swings, which is even more damage than the Octo Brush, so we can expect it to perform even better for this task. Combined with the better range and the fantastic area attack that it will have, it's another box tick for the Paintbrush to be a good weapon in Salmon Run, as it will be clearing hordes with ease and at a good range as a bonus. This area attack is also extremely useful during Glowfly Rush Wave, where with good positioning you can clear a whole horde of Glowfly chums alone before they would get to your team, so they only have to deal with the Goldie for eggs, making brushes one of the best filtering weapons for this Night Wave. A not-so-known trick of brushes that a lot of players tend to forget about is their brush running, which can be used for multiple scenarios, easy examples being collecting golden eggs fast and salmon ink, or running through grates fast. The brush rolling also gives you above-average mobility to get to shores or other dangerous areas and come out fast, and even with the slower rolling of the paintbrush, I think it will still maintain this bonus of having great mobility, and it doesn't seem to be too ink-hungry to do it either. But possibly one of the coolest tricks you can do with a brush is running up against the steel eel from behind, as it allows you to deal continuous damage to the boss, splatting it very quickly. So apart from the extreme mobility brush running gives you, it also makes you powerful against another boss salmonid. What I'm hoping for and what would be amazing if the brush run damage would also be increased for the paint brush, since they mentioned it will be slower. And since the Octo Brush and Ink Brush both do 40 damage rolling, if the Pain Brush would just get 10 more damage as a bonus for being slower, that would open up a huge door to the weapon, making it the first brush and roller hybrid that would be capable of rolling through Glowfly Rush Chums. Chums in Rush Wave only have 50 health compared to the normal 100, and since they announced the Pain Brush will paint a wider trail, 
it could be used very much like a roller for Glowfly Rush, even though brushes are already one of the better filtering weapons during this special night wave like I showed before. Though sadly brushes do not have the same slow rolling ink benefit like rollers do, they still use up large amounts of ink for brush running, so this would remain a somewhat niche use of the weapon. That is a lot of boxes ticked already for the paintbrush, but it will likely have one big weakness. And it looks like it will be a weapon with pretty bad ink efficiency, and from the looks of it, it can swing only around 20 to 25 times with a single ink tank, which is even worse than the Octobrush, which already struggles with ink during Salmon Run. Having bad ink efficiency sadly forces a lot of weapons to stay more back and unable to push, let's say statics on the shore. Not to mention being very vulnerable to inking bosses like Drizzlers or Fistics, but most importantly, it makes you having to reload often, and the higher the hazard level is, that means you're spending less and less time splitting fishes, and so your overall weapon strength is massively decreasing with each hazard increase. Fortunately, the paintbrush is still strong against a lot of bosses with heavy turf control, so I can still see it being a very good backliner weapon during Salmon Run. So the paintbrush is looking pretty good, right? I'm very excited for it, but regardless of everything I've said so far, it is still not guaranteed to be a good weapon, as at this point the greatest emphasis is on what damage numbers it is going to get. While it might seem irrelevant to many, a weapon can be weakened by the slightest difference in their damage numbers, like the Splatter Shot Pro for instance, only having 45 damage per shot instead of 50, having to shoot chumps 3 times before they splat with an already ink inefficient weapon. The paintbrush is in similar shoes, though I'm not worried about its damage numbers that much, as it kind of has to be stronger than the Octobrush with how it is advertised, and I'm very much hoping and expecting it to have similar damage numbers to the 96th Gal even. Perhaps a bit lower due to it having splash attacks, but considering the ink tank and the attack speed, I think that it is a reasonable expectation if they want the weapon to be pretty good. Fingers crossed that I'm correct here. I'm hoping for around at least 70 damage for the paintbrush. The absolute dream would be if it got 80 damage per swing, which was flat Hawks with only 5 attacks from it, exactly like the 96 Gal. The rolling damage is also a big question. I personally don't think it will be higher, but as I said, if it were to increase to 50, that would be a massive innovation to the weapon type in Salmon Run and would make it the first brush that can roll through chumps during a rush wave. But that is everything about the paintbrush and what I think about it at the moment before release. It looks like a really good weapon, I already might main in PvP if it's going to be good, but it is a complete improvement for brushes and the whole weapon type in Salmon Run, and that is something to look forward to at least. So what do you think? Do you agree with the points I made or do you have a few thoughts of yourself? Let me know in the comment section what you think about the paintbrush, will it be a good weapon or a bad one in Salmon Run? But thank you for watching, subscribe for more Salmon Run content if you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you the next time.